Hi, my name is Mani Ali Khani. I am the Dean and Professor of CITOR Academy and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR channel. The topic of today's discussion is the relationship between the force and type of tooth movement. <music> What happens if we apply a force at the level of incisal edge of a tooth? To see what the tooth feels, if you remember from previous uh, discussions, we need to draw the equivalent system. There is a force in the system, so we draw that in the center of resistance. And there is a moment in the system that in the first view we don't see it. But if we pay attention because the force does not pass through the center of resistance, a tendency for the rotation appears. And it would be a large moment because the distance between the force and center of resistance is large. How the tooth moves? Now, there is two components for the movement of the tooth. One is displacement and one is huge rotation. A combination of that would be uncontrolled tipping. What that means? Means the apex goes one direction, crowns goes another direction, almost like a center of rotation is someplace between center of resistance and the apex of the tooth. Let's do an experiment. Let's bring the force a little bit lower at the level of CJ of the tooth. What will happen? To understand what will happen, we need to again draw the equivalent system. If we draw the equivalent system, we didn't change the magnitude of the force, so the force should be the same. But what do you think happened to the moment? Is it larger or smaller now? Well, the distance between the force and center of resistance is smaller, therefore the moment should be smaller. What that means? It means that we did not change the displacement component of the movement. Same force, therefore we should have the same displacement. However, we change the rotation component of the movement, it is now less rotation. Now, if we look at the movement at the end, it seems that the center of rotation of this movement is close to the apex, maybe a little bit below, maybe a little bit up. But it seems it's moving toward the apex and passing from the apex a little bit up. That is control tipping. What happens if I bring the force close to the center of resistance? You are already familiar with this example. Yes, there is no moment in the system, therefore should not be any rotation. The magnitude of displacement should be equal to the previous examples. So you're expecting the same displacement, no rotation, that is called bodily movement. We can say the center of rotation of this movement is in infinity. What happens if we apply a force at the level of the root? In these examples, uh, again, if you draw the equivalent system, you will see the magnitude of the force is the same. Therefore, you're expecting the same displacement. However, the moment that produced in the system is in opposite direction. It's large, but it's in opposite direction. So that will produce a type of tooth movement that we call it root movement. It seems that center of rotation of the tooth is someplace close to the incisal edge. What will happen if we apply two force at the same time? Equal in magnitude, parallel to each other, and opposite in direction. Yes, we have a couple. As you remember from the couple discussion, there would be no displacement in the system, just pure rotation. Therefore, we expect in the center of rotation would be exactly on the center of resistance. And that doesn't move in a space. If you look at all the examples that I discussed today and put them in one slide, in all of the examples, if you look at the equivalent system, the magnitude of the force didn't change. However, the amount of the moment change. In uncontrolled tipping, we had the largest moment. In control tipping, we had a smaller moment. In bodily movement, that moment started to become close to zero. And when we get to the root movement, the moment change direction. Pay attention to clinical application of this. By changing the point of application of the force, we were able to produce all type of tooth movement. However, clinically it's very difficult for us to change the point of application of the force. We can in some situation, we can do that, but not all the time. So can we create different type of tooth movements by just changing the magnitude of the moment? 
somehow if I can change the magnitude of the moment and still I apply my force at the level of the crown I should be able to produce all this type of tooth movements but how we can change the magnitude of the moment uh, one way would be to apply another force at the same time that produce opposite moment if we change the magnitude of that force the magnitude of the moment would be different and we can play that game uh, by application of two force different moment we can change the magnitude of the moment in the system however now I have another force that cause another displacement in another direction sometimes I don't need that so it's a good solution but not the best solution what happened if we just apply a couple at the same time that we apply our force if you remember from the definition of the couple the couple cannot produce displacement so center of resistance is still displaced only in the direction of our force however if we're producing a couple that produce a moment in opposite direction of the moment of the force we can change the magnitude of the total moment that center of resistance feels in another word i can play with the moment now if i'm applying a force and a couple at the same time without changing the point of application of the force so i say at the level of the crown and i just apply a force and a couple that produce a moment opposite in direction of the moment that the force produce and by playing with the magnitude of the couple i can produce different type of tooth movement this is the best solution and we will talk about that next session about that uh, there is a confusion some people thinking by changing the magnitude of the force the moment is decreased maybe that's a way to change the type of tooth movement but that's not the solution if you're changing only the magnitude of the force uh, without application of a couple at the same time you are just decreasing the amount of the movement if you are uncontrolled tipping you will be less uncontrolled tipping if you are pure uh, control tipping you will be less control tipping it means that the type of tooth movement has not changed just the magnitude of the change so by changing the magnitude of the force without changing the point of application or without application of a couple at the same time you cannot change the type of tooth movement thank you for listening to another session of Citor's channel uh, I hope you enjoyed the session uh, the topic for the next session is couple to force ratio please by uh, clicking on the subscribe button on the screen support us uh, it is free but it is helping us to maintain and sustain these sessions I hope you enjoy it thank you